Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to show you guys a really cool trick and something that will go uh, really fast and help speed up your workflows. If you're using Redshift and the GPU renderer, which I'm sure many of you guys are, or are at least transitioning to the GPU renderer, this is um, um, something that you're going to need to use and something that I find that you'll find very useful. Particularly if you're downloading FBX files or models from websites like TurboSquid where it's already pre-textured and pre-assembled and everything is done for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and inst or, uh, download a file from an FBX file from TurboSquid that I already downloaded, import it, and then I'm going to use a material extractor script and install that into the scene file and use that uh, HDA tool to extract the materials from the FBX file so that Redshift can read them. And once Redshift can read them, you can do your rendering really quick, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and um, fire up Houdini. It's gonna take a little bit to open up. I wanted to show you guys real quick where I got the HDA. It's a material extractor and it was created by this guy right here named Bereg and he's quite good. I actually uh, emailed him back and forth and he helped me with any hiccups that I had. It sells for $3, it's really nothing. It's the price, it's cheaper than a coffee now. And um, you can do Mantra, Redshift, um, and it's also updated for the new Redshift, with, which is a 3.0. Um, and there's also a YouTube link here. Uh, it's Russian, but there are subtitles, so you can follow along. The subtitles are in English. And uh, yeah, I mean, it speaks for itself, 13 ratings and everybody's pretty happy with it, including myself. So I recommend it. Now, if you guys purchase this, I don't get any money for it or any kind of credit at all. This goes all directly to him. I'm just showing you guys what I use, what I discovered, um, because it's really quick. Behind here, this is all his stuff. This, is, this guy's name is Bereg. I, I think he's Russian. I'm pretty sure he's based out of Russia. And he's got more stuff in here, which is pretty cool. But I'm only using this for now. And so I just wanted to show you guys that. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a brand new Houdini scene file here. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is, well, the first thing I'm going to do is after I bought that um, HDA, I downloaded it. I put it somewhere where I remembered. And so every time you open up scene file, you have to kind of re you have to install um, the HDA into your scene file. So in order to do that, you go to assets, install asset library. And then up here is where you find it. You choose it. So I got my assets. Um, my HDA is saved in a particular area, which is right here. So this is the matte extractor, and this is the uh, Redshift principled shader. So I'm going to go ahead and click on accept and then install. And now I could test it out. So for example, I'm going to go and create a geo sop, a surface operator, and go right in there. And if I click on, I go to matte. There's matte extractor right there. So that's the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and import an FBX file. I'm going to use the FBX skin import tool because it just works. Of course, there's many different ways to import FBX files and Houdini, as I'm sure many of you know, not everything always works because when update, when Houdini updates and upgrades its system, a lot of the scripts sometimes break and anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and um, actually, I think I have it right up here. No, that one's, that file is too big. I'm going to go ahead and just import a simple chip that I've been using in some of my files, or some of my scenes. I have it here somewhere. It's in downloaded geography here, or sorry, downloaded geometry. So this is the ship right here. It's the Mark VI patrol uh, ship. So it's going to go ahead and import that and then cook it. And it's not a big ship, so it doesn't take too long. Here we go. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an unpack node in here. And then underneath that, I'm going to go ahead and do the tool, which is the matte extractor tool. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. And then I'm going to tell it here to input geometry. And then I'm going to ask it to do redshift. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a camera and lock that camera and then zoom out so we can see the ship right there. It's really wonky because um, the materials aren't on there yet. There's a lot of bugs. Um, now this is what I was dealing with for the past like maybe two years because I was use Redshift a lot because it's such a fast renderer but when it comes to setting up the shaders that are already pre-existing shaders in a lot of the FBX files it was a nightmare so this is a really cool tool this is why I want to make this video on it but the next thing to do um, 
well, if we wanted to go ahead and render it now, I'm just going to put on a light. So that way we know what we're looking at. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a redshift light here. And lock that light in. And... Um, give it some more exposure. And then I'm going to do another light here. On this side. And I'm going to make this one really bright. Oh, that's too bright. So I'll just do that right there. I'm going to go to the ca uh, camera view and I'm going to go right back into the GeoSop and in the Man Extractor here, all we need to do now is hit this magic button which is called, which says create materials. And now Houdini is going to, is going to do its thing. It's going to evaluate the Python, read the script. There it is. So you can see that is the actual ship, what it looks like um, with all the textures on it. That uh, black bar there, that's actually a rubber uh, vinyl uh, lining on the actual ship. And um, and it does a pretty good job because um, in some of my scenes, for example, like there's a lot of dirt here and rust that actually can uh, be brought out a lot more um, with the right lighting. And these glass, uh, this materials right here for the windows is actually, uh, it translates into real glass uh, with Redshift. So you can see inside, if you put some lights inside, I've done it in some of my scenes already. Anyway, so let's go ahead and render it and see what it looks like. Another trick you can do is you press Shift H, it brings the whole frame into um, the, the window for your uh, render view. And there it is. So you can see the all the textures are on there. And if we get enclosed, there's some dirt and some rust in some parts of the actual textures. It is quite a bit of work to actually create these manually. So this new script is really great. I wish, like I said, I wish somebody gave me this script about a year or two ago. It would have saved me a lot of time, but this is it's cool that we got it now. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Hope this video was useful for you guys. So until next time, peace.